lights. It's something most of us don't think about. Light helps us learn. Light lets us play. It can be as simple as seeing in the dark, guiding us on our journey home. At the Boys and Girls Club, light means so much more. It means hope. It means education. And most importantly, it means opportunity. My light was always on at home. Uh, not every child's light is on. And what the Boys and Girls Club does for those children is give a constant and, and safe environment for them to come to. When the school bell rings and they leave those halls, they need a place to go. And for lots of these kids, home is not always the best place for them to return to, or there may not be anyone there to offer them any kind of support. So without the Boys and Girls Club, we would have a lot of lost kids out there. We have to remember that Everyone doesn't have parents that can be home at 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon. So where are they going to go? They have a chance to go to the Boys and Girls Club. That's their second home. If it wasn't here, I'm not really sure what I would do with my kids before and after school because I don't really have any family close by. The Boys and Girls Club is like a home and I have a lot of family there because they just make me feel welcome there that I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I like to play with Legos and go on the monkey bars. There was this dance that people would do at the Boys and Girls Club and they called it the Nay Nay. And I tried to teach my mom that, but she was terrible. When I have homework at school and I go to Boys and Girls Club and I don't understand something, the staff really helps me. He has a place to go after school where he can get his homework done, he can get help with his assignments and then also have time to socialize with his friends. One of the most important services we provide at the Boys and Girls Club is a hot nutritious dinner every night. We discovered that many of the children that were in our program were going to bed hungry. We did everything we could to ensure that those children are fed every day and since starting a food program in 2012 we've fed over 20,000 hot nutritious dinners. Boys and Girls Club had to vacate their facility. The reason for this vacating uh, was the construction of a new interchange at Lafayette and US 50 Highway. The community want to develop the Lafayette interchange which has been a priority for our, our community since I was on the chamber board 10 or 12 years ago. Um, as that project started to develop it became clear that the location of the current Boys and Girls Club was going to present some challenges. So that opportunity of when the Lafayette Street extension came through, um, the uh, board of the Boys and Girls Club, instead of predicting doom and gloom and saying the sky is falling, said, hey, this is an opportunity. And let's look at this as an opportunity to increase our footprint here in the capital city and maybe get the facility that the community needs and deserves. Um, and this was the catalyst that kind of started that conversation. We were fortunate that in June of 2013, Lincoln University came to us realizing that we were going to be displaced and they offered us a site to build a new club. I was clear we did not want them to leave this community because it's important for the parents and the students to have access to the facility. And for Lincoln to have the students on the campus, to have them grow up on a college campus is so important. They get to see college students, they'll get to see faculty, they'll get to see staff, and hopefully they'll have aspirations that once they graduate from high school, the next step is going to college. And that's the most significant message we want to send to them, that education doesn't stop at high school, that college is the next natural progression for them. In order to allow every child in our program to become a productive, responsible citizen, we believe they need to have academic success, they need to develop good character and citizenship, and they need to lead a healthy lifestyle. Our new facility on Lincoln University's campus will allow us to reach all of those goals. Being on a college campus is going to take the blinders off for so many children. The new Boys and Girls Club facility on Lincoln University's campus will be an 8,000 square foot facility. Uh, it will be a main level that will house elementary age students as well as our offices, commons, cafeteria, and kitchen. In addition to that 8,000 square feet, we will have an additional 8,000 square feet at the basement level that will house our teen center. 
Currently, we are serving elementary and middle school and high school children in separate facilities. This building will allow us to bring our entire Boys and Girls Club family together under one roof. I know as well as everybody does that there's a lot of projects going on and a lot of money is needed for different things. But we have an opportunity here to make a big impact on the lives of a lot of children. And when we do something positive for them, it's positive for everybody. This is one of the most tremendous opportunities to leave some size of legacy knowing that it's going to be permanent, it's at the university. You know, they, ha they have the saying, um, home is where the heart is. And for a lot of kids, their hearts lie in the Boys and Girls Club because that's where they receive a lot of love. And to be in a place where you are given an opportunity to become who you are without fear or without judgment, that's home. To be, uh, to have a light when the world is full of darkness, that's a reflection of hope, and our students need that, our kids need that. Jefferson City, let's make this much needed new home for the Boys and Girls Club a reality. Together, we can light the way home for the children in our community.